To all the geeks and nerds, welcome to this follow-up video of my 1.14 creeper farm. So if you haven't seen the original video, then go and check it out. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, otherwise, some of this stuff won't make much sense. But uh, the point of this video is to answer a few questions that we've had uh, in the comments section, a bit of an FAQ if you like. So uh, yeah, let's get into this thing. The first question relates to the rails and in particular this one right here, part of the unload station where the rail wasn't curving the right direction. So before you've got any redstone in place, when you're just laying down the rails, then the, then the rail should curve this way towards the right if you're standing in this uh, this location. So obviously when I built this up, it will work fine in the video, but for some people having some issues with this and it turns out that this is directional. So if you're facing to the north, then everything is fine. If I press F3, you can see I'm facing north and that rail curves uh, to the right, no problem at all. However, if I face another direction, so if I face in this direction instead, I'm now facing to the west. Without any redstone, you'll now see the rail is curving to the left, which is no good. That's not what we want. Um, so also there's other directions, of course. So if you face towards the south, then again, this is going to be going in the wrong direction. This is going to the left, which is what we don't want. And if you're facing this way, if you're facing to the east, then it, it curves to the right, and that is what we do want. So if you're facing north or east, then it's all is good. If you're facing west or south, then there is an issue. But it's an easy fix, so let me show you how to do it. Here is a section of the unload system as we built up in the tutorial, and you can see here that the rail curves over to the left, which is correct if all the redstone is in place. So once you've got the redstone torch underneath, then you should see that this rail curves to the left. And that's because when the minecart comes around this way, comes around here, you want it to keep going around this way by default and only curve this way once you've got a minecart full of items that gets detected by the detector rail. So to get this fixed, if you're facing in one of the other directions, so if you're facing uh, either south or west, then what you need to do is, as you can see here, this is incorrect. So this is again, just the same as that, but just rotated. You can see that the rail by default is turning this way. So by default, the minecart would come along here and it would go into the station where we don't want it. So the easy fix is to do this. So what you need to do is remove this block, remove the repeater, and you can remove the block underneath as well. Put a block next to the redstone dust instead, and then get a redstone torch and put it next to it. And that is it. That's what you need to do. Just change that and everything else you can build exactly the same. Just make that minor change and you can see now the rail uh, goes around there. And if we want to test it, if we stick a minecart on top of this uh, detector rail and we can fill it up with uh, items, you can see if you watch the, the if you watch the uh, the rail over there, you'll see it turn. There you go. It turned and that's this way. So now when the minecart goes past, because it's full up, it will go this way and go into the unload station. The next question was around platforms and does this creeper farm work on bedrock edition? Well, I'm a Java player. I've only tested this on Java and as you can see, it works perfectly well in Java edition. You can see all the, uh, all the creepers fall into their doom. As far as bedrock goes, uh, I've not tested it on bedrock. I suspect it probably does not work on bedrock edition, uh, but if you're feeling brave and you want to give it a shot, then uh, by all means, and let us know in the comments how you get on. So we had a few questions around uh, mob spawning and uh, also the location of this farm. Now I should say that uh, the things I'm going to talk about now are, are the same for any kind of farm design uh, that you build that's, uh, that's general spawning uh, based just like this one. Um, it's different if you're using a spawner or if you're using a structure like a witch farm uh, or a fortress farm. But anything that's using general mob spawning, uh, all of these rules are the same for any design that you choose to build. The first question related to spawning uh, was from a few people that were saying they weren't getting any spawns at all uh, in their farm. Now there are a few reasons for this which we did cover in the original video, but I thought I'd just reiterate it here uh, just to make sure. So first of all, build your farm as low as possible in the world. So we've built it here on bedrock and that's because the spawning algorithm uh, gives you more successful spawns the lower down you are. And so uh, as I said in the video as well, uh, you can build this higher up in the sky if you like, above an ocean or anything like that but so your rates will definitely be affected. Uh, so yeah, just bear that in mind. Uh, the other thing is if you're on a multiplayer server, then other, other players that are online will be loading mobs around them. And if they've loaded up all the mobs in the mob cap, that means there's no more mobs to spawn and they won't spawn in your farm. And so you won't get any there. And the other thing is to condition in the area. So you need to make sure that there are no other spawning spaces around your farm, because if they're spawning outside of your, far outside of your farm, that means they're not spawning inside your farm. And that means you won't be getting the gunpowder. So what is the area you need to condition? Well, if you're in your AFK spot, then it's a sphere around you with a radius of 128 blocks. Now, how big is that exactly? Well, I've got a command here that I can run from my data pack from Logical Crafting. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you wanna try this out for yourself, but I can show the spawning sphere, which will show all of these glowing armor stands. So it's a bit hard to see from here, but if I was to fly out, you can see that this area is pretty big. So let me uh, fly all the way out here. 
Here we are at the edge of our perimeter and you can see just how big this sphere is. So here's the curvature of it, it goes all the way up. So if you want your farm to be as efficient as possible, you need to make sure there are no spawning, no spawnable blocks inside this sphere at all. So that means you need to either remove them all like I have here in this perimeter, or you need to go into all of your caves and light them all up and also light up the surface area as well. So that's another reason why you might be getting less spawns because your mobs will be spawning elsewhere in the world and not inside your farm. The final question for the FAQ was where to build your AFK spot. So the basic thing is uh, you need to make sure you're 24 blocks away from all of the spawning platforms. Uh, apart from that, you can pretty much put it anywhere. If you put it above the farm, then that means there's gonna be blocks above the farm and that means that's gonna raise what's called the height map, which will also affect your, affect your rates. So in an ideal world, you want your farm, farm to be built as low down as in the world as possible with no blocks above it at all. Um, but if you need to put a block above it for your AFK spot, then that's okay. Um, but just be aware that any blocks above your farm will also affect your rates. And before we finish up, there was one more question and that was, why have I copied this design from somebody else? Well, guess what? That somebody else is me. So don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> I haven't copied anyone. Uh, it was my my design that uh, is probably the one you're thinking about. Uh, but yeah, that was for an older version that now no, no longer works in 1.14. This is the updated version. So if you didn't see the original tutorial, then go and check it out. Uh, I'll put links in the description. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, then please hit the like button. And if you are new, then feel free to, sus to subscribe. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, then get it in that comment section. All right, my geeks, until next time, I will see you later.